people associate cheesecake with New York, but it actually comes from Greece. The ancient Greeks served cheesecake to the athletes of the first Olympic Games in 776 BC. The Roman conquest spread the dessert across Europe, and many centuries later, European immigrants brought it to North America. The ancient Romans brought cheesecake to their temples as an offering to the gods. The cheese in cheesecake can be cottage, ricotta, neuchâtel, or cream cheese. Their base? A butter cookie crust, similar to shortbread. For a batch of about five dozen cakes, this bakery combines 23 kilograms of butter with four and a half kilos of sugar. Next, 16 egg whites, then 11 kilograms of flour. After mixing just long enough to incorporate the flour smoothly, the dough is transferred via conveyor belt to a vat. Gravity pushes the blob of dough out through a slot at the bottom, expelling a dough sheet about half a centimeter thick. A dusting of flour prevents the dough from sticking, not just to the conveyor belt, but also to the rolling and cutting tools. This prickly roller perforates the dough sheet. The holes enable trapped air to escape during baking, which prevents the dough from shrinking and ensures a flat, bubble-free crust. The next roller has plastic circles that work like cookie cutters, slicing the dough into cake-sized discs. The leftover pieces go into new batches of dough. Each dough circle goes into a pan, then bakes at 190 degrees Celsius for 16 minutes. Meanwhile, the batter takes shape. For a batch of about 20 cakes, the bakery combines 11 kilograms of cream cheese with a kilo of cultured sour cream. That sour cream processed a little longer than usual to give it more flavor. After slowly mixing in 7 kilograms of sugar and about 2.5 cups of flour, they blend in 3 quarters of a cup of vanilla extract. Now they get cracking with one and a half dozen whole eggs. That's the recipe for plain cheesecake. Flavored versions contain extra ingredients. This batter is caramel pecan. It goes with a chocolate cookie crust. As the baked crusts arrive, sprayers grease the inside of each pan with butter so that the cake will slide out easily after baking. Then a machine called a depositor shoots in just the right amount of batter. The pans now enter a tunnel-shaped oven that's 21 meters long. The temperature inside is 177 degrees Celsius. By the time the cakes exit at the other end, they're fully baked. These 25 centimeter wide cakes take just under an hour. From the oven, the cheesecakes go onto a cooling conveyor. By the time the hot cakes up to 2,000 at a time, do the nearly hour-long circuit, they're at room temperature and ready to come out of their pans. From there, it's straight into the storage freezer, except for certain cheesecakes, which detour to the decoration department. There, this Belgian chocolate cheesecake gets a big squirt of chocolate ganache, a decadent mixture of chocolate and cream. Workers spread it all over, then make swirls with a decorating comb. And now, the final touch, a sprinkling of cocoa. Certain orders go into an automated cutting machine that divides each cake into 14 equal slices and inserts parchment paper in between them. Back at the decorating department, they're putting shards of chocolate on a mud pie, a combination chocolate souffle, chocolate cheesecake with pecans and a coffee mousse topping. You might want to put off that diet just one more day.